Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here. Today we have two rational expressions that we need to multiply together and then simplify. Remember the easiest way to multiply these together is to factor them first. So let's start with this first numerator. 2x squared minus x minus 3. Here we're going to have to use the key number method and then grouping and factor with grouping. Our key number here is 2 times negative 3, or negative 6, and our b is negative 1. So we're looking for two values that multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 1. That would be negative 3 and 2. So remember, this tells us how to rewrite that middle term. 2x squared, let's put the 2 first, plus 2x minus 3x minus 3. Now we can factor with grouping. The first grouping we factor out a 2x and we have x plus 1. And the second grouping factor out negative 3 and we have x plus 1. Factor out that binomial of x plus 1 that they have in common and you have the binomial 2x minus 3. All that just to rewrite this first numerator which is x plus 1 times 2x minus 3. Now let's rewrite the denominator. So our denominator here is 3x squared minus 8x minus 3. It has a leading coefficient, so we need to use that key number method. 3 times negative 3, or negative 9. So two numbers that multiply to negative 9, and our b is negative 8, so they need to add to negative 8. And those two numbers would be negative 9 and 1. So remember, that's how we're going to rewrite that middle term. So 3x squared minus 9x plus 1x minus 3. Now we can factor it with grouping. 3x is the GCF of those first two terms, and we have x minus 3. And the second, we need to have a binomial of x minus 3. And to do that, we just have to factor out a positive 1. Now factor out that binomial x minus 3 that they have in common, and we're left with the binomial 3x plus 1. Let's go back up top and rewrite we have x minus 3 times 3x plus 1. Now let's look at the second rational expression. The numerator, 3x plus 1, there's no GCF and you can't factor it. So we'll just write it as 3x plus 1. And the denominator, same thing. No GCF and it can't be factored. Now that everything's factored, we can multiply the numerators and the denominators together. So we have x plus 1 times 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 1. And the denominator, x minus 3 times 3x plus 1 times 2x minus 3. Now we want to compare the numerator and the denominator to see if they have any factors in common. And notice they do. They have 3x plus 1 in common. Those simplify to a 1. And the 2x minus 3 also simplifies to a 1. So simplifying this, we get a simplified rational expression of x plus 1 over x minus 3. 